Okay, we're gonna give this a shot. Tried to record some videos last night, and I ended up scrapping every single video and every painting. I don't know what happened last night. I don't know if it's the weather or what, or just uh, bad juju. But I did probably five of them, and they all turned into some trash. So we're gonna try again today. I'm supposed to be doing some commission pieces, so I'm hoping these work out today. I'm gonna get my tiles ready here. I got my pillow paint ready. Got all my colors mixed up. It's gonna be a while before I post any videos of me making my pouring mediums and my pillows and mixing up my colors as I'm having trouble right now. So I don't be showing people stuff if uh, I'm having trouble myself. So I have to put a little bit of paint under there so that tile will go fly around and we're gonna see what we get today. Not quite sure what the problem was, but we're gonna find out. Take a little bit of this pillow paint and go underneath here. Just so she don't want to slide around on me. That stick good. Bam. So being a newbie's fun, I guess. You get to learn every day. No matter what, something could go wrong. So you try to drop down some pillow here. Try to be a little more generous, like my guy SI Frost is telling me to be generous with my pillow. Always have a little trouble, I guess, trying to put this pillow on thick. So we're gonna keep giving it a shot. This pillow pushed out here. See some bubbles in my pillow paint. It's been mixed for a couple days. I don't know why there's still bubbles in there. But I'm actually gonna have to pop them with a skewer too because I don't see my torch right off. Just get these little bubbles out of here. I'll spin this a little bit probably. Make sure you're in the frame good. You look good. Got a light off to the side here trying to give us some good lighting. There's another bubble right there. And a few in there. I might have to run and find my torch, I think. Oh, there it is. I see him over there hiding. I'm just trying to play peeky boo behind my pouring medium, I see. We'll get that quick here. Just a little torch, and you don't want to over torch it. You'll get a skin form on the top, and then you'll have all kinds of trouble. Hopefully, this will work out and come this way as we throw these paints on here. A little thin over here. And I know, Frost, more pillow, put more pillow, I know. There you go. Go check out Frosty Eyed Candy. His channel is superb. Guy's an amazing artist, he's way ahead of me. Try to, try to get my stuff to be as good as him someday. You can only hope and dream, right? I did go to my local farmer's market this morning with a bunch of my paintings and I actually did really well again got 450 in the bank it was nice to see everyone appreciating what I do a lot of people want to see what I do so they wanted to figure out where my YouTube channel is at so it's a good thing we got her started these commissions are supposed to be some sort of neutrally natural type of colors, but I'm not all good with those, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put me, you know, some of my little poppy colors. I have some of that pop in there, but I know what they're looking for. I actually bought a few of ones I had done in the past, but I can't seem to recreate anything I do. 
I just, I go all willy-nilly at this. Maybe recording it will help me out so when people are asking for stuff, I can just find the video and see exactly what I did, what layered colors I went. We're going to see what this does. I did make a test blob. I should go get that and stick that in the camera quick. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you my test blob. Love my test blobs. So, this was my test blob. Looks pretty good. And we'll get, we'll get something like that to pop out of here. Let me get you. Get your little bubble selves out of my painting here. Get out. Go on. You didn't pay rent. Go. You ain't paying rent. You got to go. So. Alright. Drop a little interference red on top of that. Or is this violet? I think it's red. Right, it looks more violet though. Might be violet. Not really. I'll have to look at the picture I took that I will link to this video. I took a picture of all of the colors I used. I'm really messing around with telling you the pouring medium or mixing the pillow or any of that. Yeah, like I'm saying, I just if I got trouble, I better not tell you what I did because if they are trouble, why would you want to know? I know, some people think the videos are useless unless you're giving us every square inch of what you're doing. And they might be. Go with this folk art color shift red flash. A little bit more of that. I love this color. Uh, we'll drop down the cell activator here. Got a little bit different stuff this time. I did the strained American Floetrol, and I water it down a little bit so it's about the same consistency as the Australian Floetrol. And this time all I did was add the Amsterdam Titanium White. I'm gonna try and skip the glue, skip the Minwaxed wood conditioner and see what we get. Hopefully it works. Tile this big. Uh, about that much might work. I do see the little halo effect you're looking for when you put your cell activator on there, so it might work. Use my mini blower here. Cells. That's a good sign, I guess. No, for not strong enough here. We're just gonna have to. Let that collect up a little bit and see what happens. I see some cells coming up over here. Probably would have been better cells there, but seem to get a, get a little goofy right there. We'll let it collect up and see what happens here. Looks like I'm definitely going to have to blow in that middle. I want to use a straw or try to use a straw here. If it's just that it's down to the pillow, it must be. Must be. We're gonna get in the way, sorry. A lot of times I think I should just blow them out with my mouth. So I'm not not quite fancy with this action I'm getting here. A 
we'll see what we get. Definitely can't really much. I could blow in the middle more, but. A little bit of cells here, you know. Those look nice. Some of these look nice, but it's not getting the overall action I'm used to getting. And probably go ahead and drop a couple drops of that wood conditioner in and drop a drop or two of this Elmer's glue all in there. Cause you gotta make it happen. Still looking just a little bit lackluster here. We might be scraping this one. This will probably end up being a long video, guys. The Two, three, four drops. We're putting four drops of that min wax wood conditioner in here. We'll show you the can quick. I'm gonna have to wipe it off because it got a little bit on the sides and I don't want it to drop on that painting. Not that that painting's that it or you know, that really bad. We've got people slamming the door in my house. It's all right, don't worry about it. The uh, painting looks like junk anyway. So there's the, there's the Minwax. Pre-stained wood conditioner. And I definitely had to do it because it ain't selling up the way I would like. Uh, just a couple drops of that Elmer's glue all. off my stir stick and just dip it right inside of some of that glue all and then just take that right over to my cell activator and that's that mix it up real good we all know what mixing looks like and then I'm gonna do something some people may never do or don't know to do or something but when I got a real ugly one like this I go ahead and I scrape it, but I kind of leave it there. I don't just scrape it off. I'm sure some people have seen this little trick. I don't know if you'd call it a trick or not, but. You know, if I put it on just a little bit here before I do it. Dizzle. Have to comment if you like this over the top view or you'd rather have it from like a side angle or not. I'm I'm always torn when I hear people say that or which way they do it. I like sometimes over the top because you get to see the artwork really good. But I just take it, scrape it like that, and fold it over itself so that you actually have the white pillow left. Fold it over, white pillow. I saw Karen from waterfall acrylic do that so it's a pretty good little trick and at least i feel it is and you just gotta kind of make sure you stamp out any of these bubbles or get them close if you kind of you knock like that you'll get them to rise up like this and then you can just pop them and some of that paint that's in there that might help your paint, painting who knows Still got quite a couple here, a couple here. Uh, one right there. Ain't so bad. I'll go ahead because I'm just basically going to be testing out this cell activator again. 
Same trouble I was having all last night. I'd hate to hate to make a video and not have at least one painting work out, you know? Get this moved around. I guess well, what it's, it's starting to do some cool cells over here now. Well, of course it is. Why not? Yeah, look at it. Of course. <laughs> Maybe I should just tilt what I have here and <laughs> call it a day. What do you think? Tilt it and leave it? I don't think so, Bobby. I want my bloom. Come on. about uh, 6.30 where I live, p.m. on this wonderful Saturday, that I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday before Memorial Day, come on out of there, little bubble, no reason to have no bubbles in my painting, get out of there, Need one more quick torch, yeah, look at these, hey, Grant, of course it'll start doing some cool cells now. Why wouldn't it? Of course it would. So that's definitely going to spin out good. So Let's see. Let's change it up a little bit. Man, yeah, that's a, that's almost like, a, yeah, I'll leave it, man. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Don't I don't know what about my stuff slightly changed or something. I mean... I've gotten this non-Australian non Floetrol mixture to work out just fine for the longest time. Now, all of a sudden, I can't get nothing to work. I don't know if it's the humidity here or something. Something ain't right. So hopefully we can get something popping. It's got it's to be popping over here. Get that stuff going. Get that beautiful stuff. Just gonna, just gonna put a couple colors on now. I'm gonna do a little, just a little bit thinner stuff here. Yeah, look at them cells that are forming under that pillow. Oh my goodness, man. Of course, of course it would. Isn't that the luck of stuff? Go like this here. Get a little bit of that there. Maybe a little more. Come on, everybody. Let's make it happen. I think that does got some cool stuff in there this time. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get in the way a little bit here. That's one of the things that I don't usually like about some videos. And unfortunately I'm having to do it right now, but it's your You get your head in the way and then people can't see exactly how you're blowing that because that, in my opinion, is one of the tricks. I'll try to see if you can see what I'm doing in there. These little cells here, they're all going to get lost and I wish they wouldn't, boy. I'll let that collect up in the middle. I might blow a couple spots with the straw right here. A big old white spot. Get a couple in there, I guess. Huh? Yeah, we can roll with that. 
Let it let it collect. Make sure it moves good. I'll bring it all this way. Moving pretty good. Because of the way it is here. Hopefully, we can pull some of this to make it look cool. I can take my little skewer and throw in some little lines in here. Little swirly swirls. And do that groovy stuff. Do a little bit of that there, I guess. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna spin this kind of slow. So we're gonna go about like that. We'll see if we can get this thing to have some good looking stuff. Kind of slow it down a little bit. trick I saw SI Frost doing was sticking your finger on the table here and just slowing it down. You don't need it to be running too fast. Eh, I mean, it might be savable. This is always Always long too late to be asking somebody, should I scrape it or should I save it? Because by the time I post it, I've done made my decision. It's one way or the other. It either got scraped or it didn't. I'm going to take this little popsicle stick and try to get over here to these cells and see if I can get them up onto this stick and put them right in this corner. They're going to probably fall off anyway. They sure are. Yeah, I don't know. It don't look too bad. This is a little... This is, this is a goofy bug. Decided he was going to be part of my painting. You get out of there. Let's see if this moves around a lot. Yeah, she's moving still. I'm going to have to try to stretch it over toward this corner here. She's moving more than I need, that's for sure. Get her toward this middle and spin it again. Hopefully those stick there. These ones here are nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure you guys are still good and in the frame. Go this way. Clockwise. Oh. I forgot the uh, keep your wife happy cardboard in front of me. There's no paint coming this far yet, but well, I better get that cardboard out before I get in trouble. Ain't no reason to be in doghouse over this. Yeah, it's uh, ugh, it's not fantastic, but. I think we'll keep it. Still moving a bunch. We'll to try to get some more paint off of here. Definitely paint wanting to fly off my table because it's pretty built up in there. So we're gonna take it like this here. And we're going to get that off this table quick to see how much is running off when I spin this. Seems like I'm still a little heavy. We don't want it heavy or she'll do some cracking. We don't like cracking. Only cracks we like around here is wise cracks. Yeah, I mean we got we got some lacing, I guess. I think the next one I'm just gonna blow it out with my mouth. Let's see what we get with 
get a little counterclockwise spin here. See what we got moving around. Yeah. Didn't get too much falling off, so we might be all right. What'd you think? It's not the awesomest thing, but we're getting there. We'll mix this uh, cell activator up a little bit more. Just keep mixing it. Maybe that'll help. And we'll try one more for this video. Better go. Clean off a little spot on my drawing table. Give me a quick second here. Switch out my gloves. Whole kitchen covered in paintings right now. Whole dining room. Get spot over here. And then we'll go for one more. We'll see what happens. I know we're gonna. We're going to need a lot more of that uh, cool acing that's up like in this corner here and some of that, that's for sure. And we'll try. One more. We'll try to go as fast as I can here. Then we'll get you out of here. Most of you are probably already bored. I don't have music in the background or anything. I'm not sure what you're allowed to have on your YouTube channel. I haven't dug in too far yet to figure all that out. I don't know if I gotta break out the guitars and make my own music for it or what. I suppose they can't do anything to me if I do that. Okay, hopefully this one comes out a little better. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna add this here, cell activator, copper one too. Just because I'm, I'm feeling lucky this time, I'm feeling lucky. Come on. The spinning puddle. Hey, that's Spun out nice right there. Get out to the edges. There you go. That was nice. Okay. Let's see. Where are we going this time? Let's start with this copper. Like I said, I'll have a picture of all the colors that I used at the end. Or attached or whatever. I'll put that interference right on top of that. By looking at it, it still feels like interference violet, but it might have been the red. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the picture. I don't know if I was maybe making my puddles too big there or what. But I'll find out. A little bit of squigglies there. Chop down some of that gold. Love that gold. Gold ends up everywhere. I love it. Pop some little bit of this blue in there. Definitely that color shift by that old folk art. That red flash. Gotta have it. Love it. It's green. I don't think this green is anything special. Well, it's got some metallic to it. I 
And let's see what we get this time. I'm just gonna blow this one out with my mouth, so unfortunately I'm gonna have my big old mohawk in the way. Sell that grater there. Oh, geez, that was way too much. <laughs> Better get ready to blow this out quick, huh? This I learned from the old SI frost while you're letting that pool collect up there in the middle. You just take and blow out some of these edges a little bit so they're nice and purty. Sometimes get a little bit of extra cells going on there. Now the ammo's got some cells, people. See, I'm I'm the type I just blow it out of my mouth, I swear. Might have to. Give me a little bit of that straw in here. There, yeah, got a couple, I guess. Got a couple. Definitely made the mistake in that one spot of going to the pillow because I saw it. I did there too. Blew a little too hard. But we're losing these guys. We don't want to lose them yet. Get over here. I'm going to rock this back and forth a little bit once we get stuff moving here. So I would like to get to slowly spinning this already. Got some. <laughs> Real cool ghost cells up in there. Them look cool. Definitely a bunch of multicolored cells up in there. You know, peacock cells, whatever they call them. They're not looking too bad. They're not looking too bad. Kind of well, stretching it right there, tilting it, I guess. Got a little goofy line there, but that might look alright once we get to spinning this thing. Give her a whirl. I don't know, Frost, you'll have to tell me. Was that enough pillow? There wasn't too much, boy. We better slow this show down and get our Make Your Wife Happy Cardboard back in here. We're going to seriously get in trouble today. We got her now. That's looking pretty cool. For a tip. She's moving a little bit, but yeah, that one's a lot better, I would say. We're we're happy with some of that business, huh? We're happy with some of that business. Oh yeah. Forgot to use the copper cell activator, but Still looks good. We'll remember on the next one was some of that's nice. Oof, boy. That's nice. I'm gonna give her one more tip. Just to see what we got going on. And then we're gonna give her one more spin this way. Somebody else is behind me acting like this is actually a kitchen. Hmm. Yeah, we're happy with that. We'll put it on the drying table and see what happens. Oh, 
I'll go get the cups ready first. I set them on cups. Take that trivet and I put them bad boys on three solo cups. Three little small solo cups. Come on, kitchen. Okay. There we go. There we go. Let go. Let go. You want to tell me what you think? I like it. I like it a lot. Yes, I do. That's pretty. Yeah. Wipe off the bottom here a little bit so that the drips aren't pulling on the paint that's up there. Another little trick Karen from Waterfall Acrylics I saw do, so it's a smart thing, I can tell. If she's doing it, it's smart. You guys need to check her out too. Most of you probably already subscribed to her. She's awesome. There you have it. See you later. Bye-bye now.